Hello everyone, Jopke here and today I am planning to make some ATC cards. Um, haven't done that very often, only did one set of ATC cards but um, well I want to try and make uh, some today. I'm going to use this uh, packaging from my crocodile which is uh, enough for three uh, ATCs. Uh, size for ATCs are two and a half by three and a half inches. So, um, like the round corners as well, so um, I have uh, a punch for that, so I will probably use that as well. And maybe some gesso. On this side, I'm not sure yet, but um, well, let's see where we go. So I am starting with adding a piece of tissue paper and I got this tissue paper from Action. They really have very nice tissue paper there. This came in a package of three, which had a black and white theme, but they had have very different colors and floral and patterns. Uh, so for you Dutch people, you really must go to action and see for yourself. So I'm gluing that down with the Mod Podge and then I am going to spray a bit. And this is a spray from Lindy's Stamp Gang and also using some homemade uh, sprays to give this uh, piece of paper some color while the tissue paper uh, will still be visible. And then I'm using an archival ink, the coffee one, to add some stamping. And these are stamps from Indigo Blue called the Ink Splats. And I thought uh, that would be nice on the surface as well. Um, kind of like a coffee spills or something like that. And the next step is adding some rub-ons. And these are uh, rub-ons I have for ages. They are really, really old. They uh, might as well, well, they could be about 15 years old or something like that. And I've had them for quite a while, so I want to uh, use them up. So just uh, randomly um, adding some letters horizontal and also in a vertical line and that's when I was thinking that I uh, might be able to get four ATC cards out of this piece of paper um, and it did it just did because the width was about was exactly five inches so it was just enough um, to get uh, four ATC cards out of this and I'm using my paper cutter uh, to make sure I have I cut it in a straight line and then uh, after I've done that I've trimmed the edges because of the excess uh, tissue paper uh, I cut away and then this is a punch uh, because I liked uh, the the round uh, corners, so I had this punch, which is uh, very old as well and hardly cuts, um, but it worked and I put uh, rounded corners on every card. Uh, here you see me adding washi tape, a very thin washi tape, but you see also some corrugated cardboard on uh, on the top. Um, I decided not to use that. I wanted to try and uh, see if that would work, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. Here I am uh, making some white splatters with a homemade acrylic spray paint. And these are some flowers I made for a digital scrapbook kit once. Um, they were they were colored in that uh, kit, uh, but I printed them in black and white. 
adding a layer of mod parts. So it's uh, when because I wanted to draw with the Posca pens, and if you make a mistake and you are um, quick enough before it dries, you can easily wipe it away um, if you uh, added mod parts. So outlining the flower and then later on I decided uh, I wanted uh, to have a thicker line uh, so I'm adding more of the black and also uh, using the white Posca pen in a minute to add some dots and a bit more scribbling around the flowers I um, done uh, with all four of them. Here I am making dots with a white Posca marker. And before I glue it all down on my uh, ATC cards, I want to do something on the on the back um, because it is a package of, of my crocodile. Um, there is going to be a little note on the back uh, which says who made the card and uh, the date and uh, a contact uh, email address and such. But uh, for the edges, I needed to do something and I decided to use a black acrylic paint uh, for that. And um, now uh, I want to do that before I glue down the flowers. And now I am gluing down the flowers with the golden gel medium. Well, at least the first one I added with a golden gel medium. I believe I did the rest of the flowers with uh, just a simple mud patch. It was a bit easier than using the spatula um, to glue down the flowers. And I had these uh, little brads. I thought they would look nice in the center of the flowers. So I pick four of them. And this is a little needle tip bottle with a white acrylic paint and I decided just to make a scribble as well on the card. And that's it uh, for my HC cards. Uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the process. Um, well, if you like to trade one, uh, let me know. Uh, I have four of them. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the, this video, guys, and see you um, hopefully very soon. Bye-bye.